Hello everyone, and for those who don't know me, my name is Andrew Woodland. I am the beverage manager here at Farmington Country Club. I'm coming up on my one year anniversary. What a year it has been. Uh, but I thought we would take some time to uh, talk about some changes and some progress that we've made with the beverage program so far. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank my Wine Society members. You all have been very, very supportive, uh, and I can't thank you all enough. We had our first uh, in-person wine tasting uh, just this month. Uh, I look forward to continue those going on. Um, Next month we're going to have a, a slight change uh, just to try to keep with the social distancing um, and make sure everyone is comfortable and safe during the tasting. So look forward to that in the next club circle. Um, otherwise with the Wine Society we have made some changes to some of the uh, benefits. Um, those are going to be highlighted down below. Uh, just click on that Wine Society flyer. And if you're interested in joining, um, please click on that flyer. Take a look at what we offer and what we're doing uh, and uh, talk to some of your friends that may be in the Wine Society. Uh, and then you can just contact me and I'll be happy to sign you up. Uh, hopefully uh, I can taste with you all very, very soon. As everyone has probably seen, the construction is well underway. We finally start to see some walls. Uh, and I have seen where the cellar space is going to be. It is going to be quite the space once it's finished. A lot more room to store, store more wine. Um, speaking of the wine and the wine program, uh, over the past year we've added about 30 to 40 bottles to the wine list itself. Uh, with the program itself, I'm hoping that it will be kind of your home away from home, uh, your cellar away from your home cellar. Uh, something for you to come in and travel while you're sitting at your dining table. Uh, I'm hoping to fill in some gaps with the wine list with different regions, different areas. I have a Burgundy expansion plan for the next few months, as well as the Rhone Valley. There's a big focus on, the, uh, on French wines for this first year. I'm hoping to put in some more Spanish selections, bolster the Italian selections, and then dive into the new world. So try to get some more Australian wines, California wines. Uh, and I take a lot of pride in trying to find the wines that are new to the scene, ones that haven't quite seen the popularity, but are just as good as those recognizable uh, labels and brands. We have one of the best growing wine lists in Charlottesville, and I hope everyone takes the opportunity to take a look at the list. Uh, if you've ever uh, seen me in the hallway or seen me in the dining room, please flag me down. I, I really want to help you all find the bottle that you're going to enjoy, uh, and maybe even something new. I'm always excited to uh, introduce new wines, new regions um, to everyone. The last thing I want to touch on is our bar program. Um, our current bar team, Gamon, Alan, and Robert and I, have really been putting a new focus on consistency. Uh, we standardize all of our cocktail recipes, that way no matter which bar you go to, you're going to find the same drink every time you order it. Um, we're also working to really expand the cocktail selection, be very inventive, and, and work in some new things and some, some trends. Um, so hopefully that you've been enjoying the uh, bars and the North Lawn here. Thank you all very much and hope to see you out there. Cheers.